All right, it's Seth de la Web, and I'm going to quickly show you how to create a good SEO optimized category page for WooCommerce Flatsome. So this is one of the websites we, we created for a client and they have done great in terms of SEO. And this is a category page of a shop page. So as you can see, they're selling this uh, envelopes and they have created, well, we've created this banner. And if you click on read more, it will take you down below. So it looks nice and you also have the possibility to show text, even scroll down and even add some more SEO optimized text. And I'm going to quickly show you how to do this with one of our pre-made designs. It's free. You can go to flatsomedesigns.com and that's uh, we just uh, created a newly category for shop category and we're going to add more designs here. But I just wanted to quickly show you how easy it is to create something like this. Uh, I'm going to use a, one of our demos. We are selling pre-made demos, entire demos for Flatsum. So if you don't want to spend a lot of time and a lot of money on design, if you're starting off with your e-commerce business, this is great. Uh, and this is one of our demos that we're selling. Uh, but if you have a look at one of the category pages, in this case, jewelry, you don't see much of SEO uh, um, going on here. So it's going to be hard for this demo or this website uh, to rank high in Google if you don't have any text. So I'm going to insert this specific design. We only have one design available now, but there's going to be more added. And as you can see, it's just text with even like a little bit of a support box. And that's what we are going to uh, insert. I'm going to copy paste the short code. If you have an account, you can uh, freely copy paste the short code. Then go to your installation, go to UX blocks, create a new UX block. And I'm just going to call this shop category. And in this case, jewelry, because maybe I want to create more, um, more shop category uh, design. So shop category jewelry doesn't really matter which kind of name you give it, but make sure to paste the short code in. Uh, there's also another way you can just also directly open up the UX builder. And let's say you don't have anything going on here. You could also just copy paste the short code by click on add elements, click on import and then paste short code here. So this is the result and you can of course modify this. So in this case, this should be jewelry, something like this. And then you can optimize the text of course. And then there's the read more button. And that is important to keep uh, because at the moment it's linking to uh, hashtag more info and I will quickly show you how you can also change this but it is important because that will give you the scroll down to that will make it scroll down to the bottom of the page uh, here you have the support image box and you can change it and modify it to your needs of course um, and also you don't want to have uh, much information on mobile maybe you do want to have that SEO text but I have chosen to take out the support column because else it will take very long before you see the actual products on mobile. So keep that in mind. If you have a look here at the column that I, that I have available here, uh, here down below, it's saying only visible for desktop. So I've displayed it. I, I made it hidden on, on mobile. So let's continue and let's apply update. Next thing up. So now I have that UX block ready. It's called shop category jewelry. This is the short code that I need. Then I go to the specific category and there are multiple ways to go to the category page. Of course, uh, you can go to products categories and then click on jewelry, but you could also go, just wanted to quickly show you if you just started off with uh, WordPress or WooCommerce, this is an easy way. You can just go to the category and then click on edit category and that will take you directly also to the category uh, edit mode. So here I'm going to insert that specific short code and I'm going to show you two ways. You can either choose to put it at the top content and now I'm going to show you the result. So now that banner design will, will be placed on top of your uh, content but you could also put it at the description. So when I put it in description, it will be placed here. So it's up to you. You can place it on both sides. Um, and yeah, so now last, last thing that we want to tackle is we have a scroll down feature in Flatsome 
this is the short code that you will need I will put it on my um, tutorial uh, page so if you're watching this on YouTube in the description there's a link and it will take you to the tutorial page where you can also find this video but a little bit more in-depth information so also the short code uh, but this is a short code that is already available by the native uh, options in Flatsum so you don't need to have any plugin installed so this only says scroll to more info and you can place any kind of text but as you can see well you don't really see it it's difficult to read uh, let me just open up the editor. This uh, link here, as you can see, it says hashtag more info. And that needs to be corresponding with this. So if you change it in Dutch, for example, mere info, you should also change it here. So that needs to be identical. So I will just leave it, put it more info. And this little scroll to title, I'm just going to go back to my category page because we have now set up the top content. Well, we've placed it in the description, but now we want to do the bottom content. And this is where you place that little scroll to tag. And now you can just insert more information. Let me just quickly get some lower mips and text. And um, we're done. I'm just going to update, go to refresh. And as you can see, if I click on read more, it will take me down to the bottom of the page. And here you can type in all your information, all your SEO related stuff. So it is as easy as that. And we just created some great pre-made designs for you that you can freely access on flatsomedesigns.com. And I think this is just a really good practice uh, just to, uh, you know, um, optimize your category pages uh, for better organic search. So thanks again for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, subscribe to my channel and also have a look at septelaweb.com where you can find much more good stuff. And if you want to take your project to the next level, you can even book me and the team for a e-commerce, like a webshop redesign and can book your free intake and you will have a 15 minute call with me. So have a great time and all the best with your project. Bye-bye.